thought I had kind of had it figured out for a long time that what God really wanted was for me to behave in certain moral ways and then to worship God in certain ways, to be present on Sundays and, and give of my tithes and offerings and study the scripture and pray and, and these kinds of things. And then somewhere later on, I got introduced to the prophets of the Old Testament. And particularly, although he wasn't the only one, but Amos was one of the ones that jumped out at me. And I found this passage in there where God tells Amos to go and tell God's people, I am sick of your worship. And it goes on to say that the reason is that God says, if you don't have justice in your society... I don't care about the worship. I'd rather have justice in the society than really heartfelt worship without it. And it opened up this whole reality to me that God was interested not just what happened in my personal life, but what happened in the society around us. And I share that because it's, it's kind of difficult because I don't have nearly as much control around the society around me as, as I'd like to think I do around myself, and yet to God, what happens in our society, and if it is a just and fair society, is important. I share that because today we start a new three-week series of sermons called Bridging the Gap, Faith and Social Justice. We're going to look at some of the topics that have been in the news that are important in our nation, some of the issues that are around social things, and we're going to try to bridge some gaps. We want to bridge the most important gap between faith and our society and how our faith might inform our interaction with issues in our society. We want to try to bridge some gaps of experiences. Over the next couple of weeks, Julie and I are going to be sharing some stories that may open up to see something in our society for you to see those through a, a different set of eyes and a different perspective. And then finally, we want to bridge some gaps of knowledge. Lots of times issues are talked about rather vocally and passionately in our society, and yet either the people speaking uh, don't necessarily have a whole lot of knowledge, they've got a little bit and they get real passionate about it, or maybe they do, but I as a listener don't have much of a depth of knowledge.